welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video that I haven't done in a while and that is a reading wrap up. So it's not necessarily a monthly reading wrap up because I kind of decided to stop doing those a while back. I think it was in March was my last one. Um, but I've kind of been, I'm not necessarily in a reading slump, but I haven't had a lot of time to be reading lately. So I kind of wanted to stop doing those because I wasn't reading very much. So I didn't have very much to update you guys on. But um, I have been over the past couple months, I've read a few mostly audiobooks. Um, so I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what I've been reading. And a lot of it has been like self help, law of attraction type books. Um, I've been really, really into the law of attraction lately. And on my other channel, which I'll have linked in the description box below, I talk a lot about the law of attraction over there. So if you're interested in that sort of topics, definitely go over and check those videos out. Um, I do a lot more lifestyle videos over there as well, some weight loss, some cleaning motivation, all sorts of things over there. But um, yeah, so I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks on the law of attraction and how to improve your life and kind of get what you want out of life. So that's kind of been the main focus. There is some other books sprinkled in there as well. So the first book that I want to talk about is actually related to YouTube and it's called YouTube Secrets, The Ultimate Guide to Growing Your Following and Making Money as a Video Influencer by Sean Cannell and Benji Travis. And both of these men are YouTubers and they have made it, they have made multiple channels that get them a lot of money to be honest with you. So I thought maybe I could learn a thing or two from them and I did learn quite a bit from this book. There was some things in here that I already did know. I mean, I've done quite a bit of research on, you know, how to make YouTube successful. And I've been applying those principles mostly to my other channel. I've been really, really focusing on over there. Um, but yeah, I, I did learn some things in here and kind of some tips and tricks on kind of how to grow your audience. So I would definitely suggest if you are a YouTuber, I know a lot of the people that follow this channel are small booktubers as well. So I would definitely suggest this one if you're kind of newer into the game and you're not really sure how to grow your following, pick this one up. So the next book that I'm going to talk about is called Money and the Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks. And it was an audio book. And I read that about a month ago. And it talks specifically about how to make more money using the law of attraction and how to change your mindset into bringing yourself more abundance. So like I said, the law of attraction is something I've really, really been into lately. And I've been noticing some major changes in my life ever since I started figuring it out. So I definitely recommend that as well. Um, I will say that I think I would rather have read the physical copy of this book and not necessarily the audiobook. I listened to the audiobook of it and it was it was almost kind of annoying a little bit because uh, I guess the way it's written, it, it just, I don't really know how to explain it other than I just think it would be better as a physical copy rather than the audiobook. I don't know if it was the people that were reading the book, which I believe were the authors, um, but maybe just the way it was written, it was just more conducive to an actual physical read. Next is The Secret by Rhonda Byrne, and that is kind of like what started the whole law of attraction thing for me was that I watched The Secret on Netflix and I became absolutely obsessed with it and I realized that I just had to read and like absorb as much of it as I could. So I also went and got the book on audiobook. Um, once again, I kind of wish that I would have gotten the physical copy of it because pretty much what they did was they just took the Netflix documentary and just recorded it as an audiobook that makes sense like they just put it in book format so I think it would have been a little bit better had I actually read it because I've already listened to it by watching the documentary so by listening to it again I just listened to the exact same thing like I might as well just put the Netflix documentary on and like that was the audiobook if that makes sense so I think once again I mean I absolutely loved The Secret um, it explains the law of attraction from like 0 to 100 if you've never heard of the law of attraction before watch The Secret and you will absolutely learn everything about it. And yeah, but I think I should have physically read it. So I probably will pick that one up in the future in a physical read and read it again. The last two books that we're going to talk about are by the same author, which is Rachel Hollis. And that is Girl, Wash Your Face and Girl, Stop Apologizing. Both of those, once again, I listened to on audiobook and I was a little bit skeptical going into these books because... They are so hyped up and they are very, very popular right now. Both of the books are very popular. You see them everywhere in bookstores and I know a lot of people that have been reading them. So sometimes I get a little bit skeptical of books like that because they're, they're almost just like doing too well and you're like, am I just like 
reading into this because everybody likes this, so then I'll like it. So I wasn't sure if I even wanted to bother with these books, so I just picked the one audiobook up first. And I actually started reading the second one <laughs> first, if that makes sense. Um, I think Girl, Wash Your Face was the first one, and Girl, Stop Apologizing is the second one, and I read Girl, Stop Apologizing first. But you don't have to read them in order. Um, basically, Rachel Hollis is amazing. <laughs> I absolutely loved these books. I'm still, I still have a little bit left to go in Girl, Wash, you, wash Your Face. I'm almost finished it. Um, but they are just so inspiring. So, so, so inspiring. And it just really gets you to take a look at your life as a woman and how you feel and where you're kind of coming from. She just really speaks to you in a way that you get it. You just get it. Um, and she really motivates you to go after your dreams and to stop holding yourself back, which a lot of the times we don't even realize that we're doing. And I didn't realize that I was doing it. So, um, yeah, it's definitely like self-improvement month <laughs> over here. I've been reading a lot of self-improvement books, but I really feel like they've been helping me a lot. So that's basically what I've been reading lately. Like I said, I was kind of in a little slump here. I haven't been reading too much, but I've been starting to get more back into it. Um, so yeah, definitely expect some book reviews coming soon and some bestie book talks coming soon. And it's just, oh, my friend Georgia and I, my gosh, like she started a new job and so she was so super busy. And then now I've started my daycare and I've been super busy and we have not had a chance to get together. So we definitely, we have, I think I, I talked to you guys before your death book, the reincarnation book. What the heck is it called? Old Souls, Old Souls by Tom Schroeder. Um, we've been planning on reading that one for forever because we both really believe in reincarnation. So this book has examples of a bunch of different reincarnation stories and she's already read it. I'm about halfway through it right now. So, and then we also have to do the final bestie book talk for Stephanie Garber's books. So we did Caravel and we did Legendary and now she has come out with Finale. So that one's on our list as well and I got a copy of Finale that was signed so so excited about that so that's going to be coming up in the near future too we just have to find a time for us to get together and film life is getting busy lately you guys <laughs> anyways I'm going to stop going off on a tangent and those are the books that I've been reading lately let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of them and what your thoughts on them were I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you in my next video bye